Hey guys, it's Andy. Have you ever had somebody on the dealership lot that says, hey, I'm not buying anything today. We're just kind of wasting time out running around. Maybe a service customer comes over from the service station. You walk out and say hello and they say, oh man, I'm just waiting on my car. I'm not buying anything today. I'm gonna show you a little secret ninja move that I promise you, you're gonna ask a question. It's gonna create the cell. The cell can't be closed until it's open. I'm gonna show you how to open that cell. You're gonna love this video. So here's what we're gonna talk about real quick. I'm not here to buy anything today. We're not buying anything today. So I want you to think about this. Now this could go in context a couple different ways. Number one, guys driving through the lot, right? You're like, Hey, what's going on? And he says, Hey man, we're not buying anything. We're just kind of driving through. This is for that. Okay. That's great. This is going to help you that guy walks in, you know, maybe a family, they pull up and you say, Hey, how are you guys doing today? They say, Hey, we're just out looking around at all types of cars today. We're not buying anything. This right here is a perfect opportunity. And I always say this, ask great questions get great answers. Okay. We have to find out information. People got things going on inside of their head. Do you think that honestly of all the things they could be doing in their life, they want to be on your car dealership lot? No, they don't. They're there for a reason. Maybe somebody's even in a service drive. Okay. Maybe they got their car in service and they're walking around. What made them leave the couch and walk out on your lot? What was it? Well, I'm going to teach you a word track today that is really going to help you with this. And remember this, your words are everything. Your words either advance the self forward or they take it backwards. One of the things that I do like in a master closer seminar is I teach constantly over 150, how to close 150 different objections, but also 150 word tracks that teach word tracks that today's new age 2020 salesperson should have tattooed on their heart so they can crush their competition that's asleep at the wheel. So when someone says, hey Andy, I'm not buying anything today, we're just kind of looking around at different cars or where they're driving through the lot, I want you to take this word track. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually back out of it for, for a second. You can pause the video, you can write it down. Remember, what you write, you'll retain. I want you to learn the, the word track and memorize it and tattoo it on your heart. So I'm gonna move out and I want you to see this. Hey guys, it's Andy, I hope you're enjoying the video. If you are, please like like and subscribe below. Also, click on the link below. Join me in a free strategy session. I'd love to help you set up a game plan to crush it. Let's get back to the video. So the objection is going to be here at the top. It says, I'm not here to buy anything today. I, you always start out by agree. You always start out by agreeing. You say, I understand. Obviously, there's lots of things that you could be doing um, uh, with, with your time other than looking at cars. And you being here right now, look how I underlined in this. It lets me know that you aren't 100% satisfied with your current vehicle. What is the one thing that you would change about your vehicle that you don't like? Now watch this. Let's move faster. Hey, Andy, look, man, I, I, I'm, I'm just here to look around. You know, we're not buying anything today. Hey guys, I completely get that. I totally understand. Obviously there's lots of things that you could be doing with your time other than looking at cars. And the fact that you're here, it lets me know that you aren't hundred percent satisfied with the current vehicle that you own. What is one thing that you would change about your current vehicle that you don't like? Just one thing. What do you think that one thing would be? If I could change it, what would it be? And this right here is the magic option where your customers will say, well, honestly, if we had an extra seat or, well, if we had all wheel drive, you know, I wasn't thinking about it until last winter we were taking a drive and you know, we didn't have it. We were sliding around a little bit and we thought, Hey, maybe on the next car we'll own it. Beautiful. So now I know the dominant buying motive guys, what do we always talk about in the road to the cell? Everything that you do is to find out the dominant buying motive in the beginning. So you know how to sell everything from there. Okay. What are these people's desire? What is that sentence going on in their head? How are you going to finish that sentence? I want a blank slate. You're going to fill that in all wheel drive third row seat. You know what I'm saying? More room for my family, lower miles on my vehicle, a car with the warranty. You know what I'm saying? More options, right? Whatever it is, it doesn't matter to me. The silver bullet is this. Hey man, you know, I, I'm, I'm not here to buy anything. Hey, I get that. I completely understand. Remember this, me and you don't have anywhere to go if you don't agree with people anytime they say something to you. Hey Andy, we're not buying anything today. Hey man, I get that, man. Most people don't. Listen, Obviously, there are lots of things that you could be doing with your time right now, okay? And the fact that you're here on the, on the lot at the dealership lets me know that you're not 100% satisfied with the car you currently own. Listen, what would be one thing that you would change about the car you have right now if you could? What would it be? Bam! 
they tell you, now the cell can be opened and you do your job, right? What do you do? You diagnose the problem, you prescribe the solution, you surface a pain point. Can somebody please repeat pain point? This is the magic button. You don't know what the magic button is? Right there. Pain point. Identify the pain point. And then prescribe a solution. Do your job. The cell's now opened. And now you can close it. Abraga Kadabra. Hey, I love you guys. Rock and roll. This is a quick video. It's to give you word tracks on how to crush it and beat your competition to death on the lot. When someone says this right here, I'm not here to buy anything. I'm not buying. We're just looking around. We're wasting time. Don't you fall for that. Don't be like your competition. Don't let it discourage you. Ask this simple word track here. Memorize this and you're going to crush it. Guys, have a great day. Look forward to seeing you soon. Hey guys, congratulations on making it to the end of the video. Obviously, you're the determined ones and you guys crush it. You're the one percenters. I just want to tell you, number one, I appreciate you. And anything you need, reach out to me. If you're struggling with anything, leave a comment in the comment section below. I always answer all my own comments. I'll reach out and help you. Also, don't forget to set up a strategy call with me. It's free. It takes 20 minutes. You can click the link below too and you can join me. I'd love to help you make a game plan to crush it. Hope you guys have a great day.